Elanani TV show and adding the hidden talent. Allow me to take this opportunity and welcome everyone wherever you are. This is one of the show that believes in unearthing the hidden talent. Here we are, we are talking with Evans, a young man who believes in himself. Allow me to take this opportunity and welcome him here in the show. Good afternoon, Mr. Evans. Good afternoon, Mr. How are you doing? Ah, what is right? How are you doing? Um, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people interact with you every day. A lot of them see you every day and they don't know you. Events. Can you take us through? Oh yeah. Um, my name is Gudani Events Okay. Yeah. I'm Venda by the way. Yes. So yeah. Um, I grew up in Jenny. It's in Venda. Yeah. And then um, I came to Uruguay in 2015. Okay. So, um, I came to. I was doing a lot of content. Yeah. And, uh, that's that's good. the entrepreneurship in me and I started to have this zeal of owning my business one day. Then I found myself um, <coughs> joining an um, organization like Work in Etats. And so the first which uh, they groomed me to be where I am today. So yeah, that, that's, that's, that's. That, that, that's a very interesting story to tell. And a lot of people admire you. I mean the job you're doing, yeah. cleaning sneakers, not an easy thing anyone can think about. Yeah. But here you are. I mean, what are the challenges did you encounter when you were swifting around and trying to find a business to do? What are the challenges did you encounter that you felt like those were too much challenges that you couldn't take them? Um, the, the first challenge was um, I didn't know how to clean white shoes. Yes, but uh, for me, I just saw really, most people struggle with cleaning shoes. But um, I just told myself that um, I got this. I, I just have to do researches and find ways on how can I clean white shoes as well. Uh, to be where I am, um, I had to uh, find a, a space. It means it's, it's very much difficult to find a space these days, mm -hmm. especially if you're a business person. Mm -hmm. So those were the few challenges that I encountered. Because um, <coughs> the, the class that we had before, they used to ask me, um, where, can you find, where can we find you guys? So I started doing this business inside my room, using my aura and everything. So it was a challenge because when I was not reaching most people out there. But now, because we have a space and our physical address, it means many people can see us, they can come and inquire, which makes it easy, easy for us to run our business. So those were a few challenges that I encountered in this entrepreneurship journey. I mean, we, we are living in a generation whereby business is everything, and we have the young man who believe in himself, energetic events here in the show. This is one of the shows that believes in unearthing the hidden talent. Who could have ever thought of washing sneakers? But here he is, doing the most in the business. I mean, the events, we have a lot of young people, you know, who are willing to start businesses, but they can't. Because they're only left with that final step to set in the, in the industry. What advice would you give them? You know, someone who's waiting at home, thinking, where can I start? You know, I have all these bunch of ideas, but I don't know when and how to start. What yeah. advice would you give to them? Uh, I would say, you start by starting. Okay. And only work works. Um, for me to start this business, um, I didn't have funding. I didn't have um, a place. I started with what I have. I was leaving my own brush in my room, my own bowel, 
my own soap and the water that is in the, in the house. So I would advise some people out there to start by starting. If you have this big idea which needs a lot of funds, find something small that you can do to fund the bigger idea that you have. And only work works. Because um, we, we might have ideas, but uh, the only thing which will differentiate us from other people is execution. That's what matters. And you, you should be willing like to fail forward, fail fast. Okay. Um, I believe we, as young as we are, our superpower is having this energy of doing thing, doing um, this this uh, um, task. Yeah, I, I think that that's the superpower. So as young as we are, we should like take advantage of such, because we're gonna reach a point where we we are no longer interested in anything. We're just gonna focus on one thing first, and it's gonna be. So I would advise some people that to say, start by starting and only work works. Fail forward. Other thing that you, you are not sure of, you will figure out while you are in the process. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a very uh, scintillating advice and that's a very good advice. Yeah. Uh, your business is growing bit by bit and here you are, you have managed to employ a few people. In two to three years come, where do you see yourself? You know, like you said, when you started, you started in the room whereby no one saw you. you it was just you and all the item you have in order to use, I mean, to wash all those sneakers. Yeah. But for its time progress, you started, you know, having to grow this business of yours bit by bit. Two to three years come, where do you see yourself? Um, it, it also boils down to unemployment. Okay. I, I would love to see um, young people working for a team for two. Um, I think unemployment is the reason why we are pushing so hard. And um, one of the things is um, we want to um, service more mm. our clients. Mm. We want to see clean footwear not focusing on shoes only. We want to also see us selling shoe accessories. Because uh, as, 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 as the business of cleaning shoes, we think we are under servicing our clients. So, yeah, in the long run, we think of um, having branches outside Pumpo and mm. yes, as well as selling the shoe accessories. Yeah, but uh, the, the bottom thing is unemployment, employing people. I mean, Salanani TV show had to travel and come here and talk to events because we are inspired. I mean, one of the young person who's trying to do the most in the community. I hope and believe that we will learn a lot. Even if you have a degree, right? and now you realize that for you to sit down with this degree, I mean, we are living in a country whereby job opportunities scant. And you said, you know what, let me just start that small business. If there are five things you have learned in business, what would it be? Five things you have learned in business. Uh, yeah, the first thing is um, only work makes. <laughs> That's the thing I've learned. Um, what I mean by that is um, if, if you are working and you're putting like time and energy into the time that you're doing, um, I, more ideas will gonna come, mm. and that's where you must see a way of pulling them. Uh, the second thing is um, you don't have to start big. Okay. Yeah, you you, you have to start small, mm. but as long as where well, you know this is my vision, you, you will keep on pursuing, until you get your pursuit. Um, other thing is collaboration. Okay. Yeah, I I, I think. Collaboration is something that as business people we should normalize doing it. It's, it's, it's very much easier if I collaborate with other businesses. Yeah, because right now we uh, there is issue of pick, picking up and delivery. Okay. Yes, we, we collaborated with this guy about delivery service. It means they pick up shoes for us and deliver to the shop after they clean it. It means they, they're going to go back to the client. So it's a collaboration. Uh, for, for us, I think it's something that I've learned. Uh, the fourth thing is uh, 
learn to interact with our clients. Clients are the key in the business. Exactly. Yeah, they're the ones who will give direction to the business. And you should be willing like, to communicate with them more further so that they can give you hints as to how can you service them better. I think those are the things that I've learned in I, I mean, very good thing. I mean, very good thing. Speaking of collaborating with people, a mm. lot of people see you from a distance, and a lot of them think it's easy, you know, easy like ABC, as how other people describe it. You know, it's easy to start a business, just believe in yourself, all this stuff. But they don't know the effort it required to start a business. But here you are, you, 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 you said that idea and, and remain unshaken. Because I hope and believe in the process, you had to encounter challenges yeah, that yeah. forced you, I mean, that surprised you. But yeah. you remain unshaken. Yeah. I, it's a, but what is the driving force? When you encounter all those challenges, you had to encounter stumbling blocks. Yeah. Some of the day you felt like I could not wake up. But you said, you know what, let me push behind. What was the driving force? Um, passion. Passion. Yes. Other things, um, me having employees on the team, mm -hmm. it means uh, I'm going to go extra mile because I know there are people who are actually depending on clean food. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think passion and uh, having team members. That's, those are the things which um, make me to push me forward. Yes, and it also boils down to unemployment. Uh, that thing, I think we shouldn't like shine away from it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it. it's, it's, it's also boils down to, to unemployment. And uh, so I'm pushing this much. I, I hope and believe that um, this interview is going to go viral. A lot of people are going to watch it. Yeah. Now, th there's someone who will be watching you and say, this boy is doing the most. I mean, this young gentleman in the community. Yeah. Oh, where do I start and how can I sponsor him? Suppose there's someone who's willing to sponsor you. Where can they find you? Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, of course. Okay. Yeah, my, um, my cell number is 076 yeah, exactly. 198 um, 2755. Those are my numbers. Um, on, on Facebook, you can find Budani Ranginya. Yes, even uh, on Instagram, it's Budani Events. Yes, but I'm always at the shop, so if they need me, they can just even come to the shop. Yeah. I, I hope and believe that this is going to be a great opportunity. You know, young men like Events are needed in the community. After he completed his degree, he said, you know what? This is a country whereby we have a problem, opportunities, you know, there are no jobs. But let me not sit down. He had to start something from the ground. Hence, we are talking about the challenges he encountered. I hope and believe that yourself as a young person, wherever you are, after this interview, you're going to have this energy. You're going to be filled with some exhilarating moment to start your business. Sanganani, TV show, and adding the hidden talent. If that's what it takes for us to go and unearth that hidden talent, then we can do it. We are so proud of you, Events. Yeah. I mean, we are so proud of you. And you've been getting a lot of... Uh, because I've read in your um, social media, yeah. a lot of people want to in high regards. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people believe in you. Yeah. Some they said, you know, <laughs> our sneakers were not that good, but yeah. after you wash them, yeah. they are so interesting. I mean, so boom. Yeah. What's the secret? How, how do you wash them behind? I mean, <laughs> you want to know? Uh, it's the secret, man. Okay. <laughs> I think the secret is what it's making clear for today. To like okay. But uh, above all, we put our our emotion, our everything in the mm -hmm. show. Yes, that, that's the secret that I can disclose for you. And you know, we, we wish you all the best. Yeah, thank we you. We wish you all the best. May your business grow and achieve everything you want. Thank you very much.
a, a very short interview we have with Evans, and we are so proud of him. Tanganani TV show. Whoever is new in this video, don't forget to subscribe so you'll get notification of videos that are posted every week here in this show. From myself and the rest of the team, Tanganani, we thank you and appreciate you. Evans, may you have a bright future ahead of you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much.